Hi, today I'll be creating something based off this animation which is a lot more artistic and less geometric than what I normally do and that's something I find a lot more difficult and it's probably going to take me more time so wish me luck and let's get started. So we're going to have a heading here so skills and now we're going to take from this array where we have all sorts of info about uh, our list so we're going to create a list within it we're going to have a loop so for let i going from 0 all the way up to n increment this i right we're going to have our list items generated there and let's get a current item this one is going to be the one at index i and here we're going to have our text right now in a style attribute we'll be setting the index which is the loop index uh, we're also going to set a background right let's see it we should be seeing it now okay that's good and we'll also be setting that value so something like this and one more thing let's also set in a style attribute the number of items in that list and we're done let's switch to the CSS so we're going to have our heading we're going to have text transform capitalize on the list items we're going to have text transform uppercase we're going to have something like a basic reset so just margin zero padding zero uh, list style none right and also font inherit so something like that for the basics and if you've seen my previous videos then you know I like to do something like this on the body and other elements so in this case it's going to be the heading and the list we're going to set display grid right and then we're going to set a few other things on the body so a minimum height so something like that and place content is going to be at the end vertically and at the start horizontally so it's going to look something like this okay uh, now let's also set a diameter for that uh, skills disk let's say it's going to be something like 7 amps uh, let's also bump up the font size so let's say font so something like this okay and here we're going to set the width to that diameter the height as well uh, we're going to set a background no um, something like this or maybe like this uh, let's also the color so it contrasts more and let's put it in the middle since we have a grid layout we can use place content center to put everything in the middle both horizontally and vertically let's also set border radius 50 percent and let's also set a box shadow and this one is going to be an inset one uh, zero offsets zero blur and we're going to have a spread and then we're going to have semi-transparency so let's say rgba uh, something pretty dark let's say something like this and as i said semi-transparent like this let's also set the background on the body uh, not quite black though we want something pretty dark let's say okay uh, now let's also set a padding here and uh, let's say it's going to be a uh, half that diameter so that's going to be a radius so half the diameter is going to be the radius and we're going to use it as the padding right there okay uh, and we get that scroll bar and this is because the box sizing by default is um, 
content box. So we have the height, that's a full viewport height, and we add the padding to that. So the fix is to use box sizing border box. And that fixes it and gets rid of the scroll bar. Now, one more thing to set here. So for the heading and for the list and the list items, we're going to set grid area first row first column so basically we're placing them in the same cell and we're going to want to set this on top the heading so put it on top of everything else uh, let's collapse the body okay something else I want to set here uh, place self uh, center and let's also set width zero because otherwise it's going to take the width of the content and something else here uh, padding left no padding left we're going to set it to the radius let's see it okay um, and something else let's add the value so we're going to use the counter trick so counter reset uh, we're going to use the value and on the after pseudo element we're going to have content counter and we're going to use percentage value and add a space in front so like this uh, let's also set a width right here and let's say that it's going to be something bigger 25 m's for example okay um, let's set a transform rotate and let's say we're going to have calc uh, i times 20 degrees uh, we're not going to leave it like this uh, first off you can see that scroll bar so let's get rid of it uh, let's say we're going to have overflow hidden but something else we want to do here set transform origin on the left okay so it's going to look like this more acceptable uh, now we can compute a midway index so this one is basically going to be calc half of n minus 1 and here we can subtract that okay looking much better like this uh, let's increase that padding a little bit so they don't uh, stick to the edge of the disk so let's say that we're going to use a calc right there so calc something like this and you can see we have a bit of spacing there they don't stick to the disk anymore now here we're going to have a clip path polygon right we're going to have some stuff in there uh, so let's say that we're going to have first offset this one is going to be calc let's say we're going to add 30 should do it uh, plus uh, the volume and these are both unitless numbers so we're going to multiply with 1% right so let's say that here we're going to have 0 0 0 horizontally 100% vertically 100 not 10 uh, and then let's say that we're going to have that offset and 50% okay it's starting to look like something and then we're going to compute a second offset which is going to be the first one uh, minus half nan, let's say something like that so um, So here we're going to have the first offset, 100%, again, the first offset and 
0. So it looks like this, we have those arrows at the end. That's good. Now, next step is let's start animating stuff. So first off, we're going to animate that uh, disk into view. Um, let's say we're going to have a base animation duration, something like one second. And here we're going to have keyframes disk um, at the start, 0%, we're going to have transform scale 0. Now we're going to take this and uh, let's say at 90% we're going to have uh, 0.9, right? So something like this and animation disk dot animation duration uh, film mode forwards okay and let's say we're going to have a more interesting easing one that bounces as well so let's just copy paste that so copy Uh, let's actually add a delay here and make the film mode both. Okay, so let's tweak these values a bit. Let's see it. Okay, so next step is we're going to have some text animation. So keyframes, text. Um, we're going to start with, so we're going to start from color transparent and text indent minus the diameter. So something like this. Now our next step is going to be have something similar to this except it's going to be text uh, this one is going to be uh, let's say is out uh, twice the delay right and let's see it okay uh, and let's make this overflow hidden with uh, the text okay so something like this and uh, let's collapse this as well yeah if I could uh, use a keyboard and <laughs> trackpad stuff like that that would be great um, keyframes so um, for the arrows we are going to have initially transform rotate minus 90 degrees and we're also going to have a rotate y 90 degrees now we're going to take this copy paste it and at 50 percent we're going to have pretty much the same thing except for the last part so now we can have wait uh, animation uh, same animation duration let's say it's going to be let's make it ease and out um, three times that delay fill mode both okay let's see it Okay, it's starting to look like something. Then we're going to add that text. So again, it's going to be ease out. Uh, let's actually double the duration of this. Okay, and here we're going to have five times and fill mode. <laughs> fill mode.
shell mode both. Let's see it. Okay, you can see how the text is coming in. Okay, now one more thing. I want to animate that volume. But in order to animate it, we need to register that custom property, V. So, property, uh, syntax, this is basically like a type, and, okay, initial, it's going to be zero inherits it can be false because uh, we don't need to inherit now having done this we can create a set of keyframes so this one comes up from zero so now we can have and let's use a different animation duration. Let's make it depend on the volume. So something like this, uh, linear. Okay. Add one more animation duration there. And again, fill mode both. Let's see it. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much it. I'm going to leave it here. I'm not going to tweak it any further. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, if you like the work that I'm putting out since early 2012 and you want me to be able to do more in the future, please consider supporting it. You can do so by being a cool cat and becoming a patron on Patreon. Or if monthly support is not your style, there's now the option of a one-time donation. Or you can make me happy by getting me a gift off my wish list. The links for everything are going to be in the description for my Patreon, for the one-time donation, uh, buy me a coffee, coffee, uh, for uh, my Amazon wish list, for this demo, for everything. Um, or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching and until next time, bye!